Okay. So I will present uh, another strategy to uh, make the softmax uh, more efficient, and which is especially tailored for uh, GPUs. So first, let me give a small uh, motivation, like a mo some motivation about why we care about making the, the softmax uh, fast. So one application of this is uh, language modeling, where the goal is to learn a probability distribution over uh, sequences of words. And so you can uh, basically write this problem as a, a prediction uh, problem of a word uh, given the, the, the context. Um, and so traditionally, um, uh, language models are based on uh, n-gram uh, models uh, which can be very efficiently, uh, can, which can be uh, estimated very efficiently on large data sets. But uh, recently, um, recurrent uh, neural network have uh, really shined uh, for uh, language modeling. And so here, uh, now the, the, we can assume that we have a, a vector HT that will encode the, the history. Um, and we can define a conditional probability over the word given uh, the, uh, the context, which uh, is basically taking the softmax um, of, uh, over uh, the, the word of the, of the vocabulary, uh, and which only use the, the vector ht. And so there's various ways to obtain this, uh, this vector h, either using re recurrent neural network or feedforward uh, uh, models. And so for large vocabularies, computing the, the uh, matrix vector uh, multiplication O times HT is very expensive because it's linear in the, uh, the size of the vocabulary. And in practice, uh, it's very common to have uh, vocabularies that have uh, hundreds of uh, thousands of, uh, of words. And so basically, this operation really dominates the computation um, uh, both at train and test time. And so one uh, classical approach to make things faster is to uh, assign each word W to a, to a unique uh, class CW, and then to factorize the conditional probability of word given uh, the history by first computing the probability of the class given uh, the history, and then the word to predict the word inside uh, uh, the, the class. And so basically to have this uh, P of uh, uh, W knowing uh, given the class and the history. And so if each uh, class only contains square root of K words, then both of these uh, operation correspond to softmax over uh, square root uh, K uh, number of elements. And so uh, you reduce the complexity from something which is linear in the size of the vocabulary to uh, something which is uh, the, uh, uh, which compl complexity is uh, only square root of the of the size of the vocabulary. Um, and but the the problem with this uh, approach is that it actually doesn't work that well uh, on GPU, and I'll now try to explain why. Um, because basically here is a plot uh, with the computational uh, cost of uh, um, computing the uh, matrix matrix multiplication for various uh, number of uh, column in the second uh, matrix, which would basically correspond to uh, computing the softmax over uh, sets of different size. And so basically what we observe is that um, the, the, the cost is basically uh, constant for small, for small number of, uh, of uh, elements and then grows uh, linearly. And so the, the, the message of this slide is that basically having a cluster with small number uh, of words is, uh, is a bad idea when you're uh, doing computation on, uh, on GPUs. Another uh, observation uh, is that words uh, usually follow uh, zip, uh, zip flow, word distribution follows a zip flow. And so basically, the, 
a small part of the vocabulary will account for most uh, uh, word occurrences. And so the idea would, is here that the computation should be really very efficient for frequent word and can be uh, more, le less efficient for m more infrequent word because we don't see those uh, often. And so we can, we can basically split the, the distribution, uh, uh, the, the word into two sets, the f very frequent word and the, the, and the tail of the distribution will, which will contain infrequent words. And the goal here is to have something which, is, which will be very efficient for the head of the distribution. And so what we can do is basically just uh, do a softmax over uh, only the, uh, the head of the, of, the, of the distribution plus a uh, uh, class for the tail uh, of the distribution. And then if we want to predict a word in the tail of the uh, distribution, you, we, we do a second softmax over um, the word in the tail. And so if uh, basically G is the cost of computing the softmax over uh, K uh, elements, the cost of doing this uh, kind of uh, uh, two cluster softmax um, is uh, given by this simple equation where basically this is the cost of uh, uh, computing the softmax over the head that you have to do every time. And this is the cost of the softmax over the tail. And you only do it for uh, uh, a, small, uh, a small amount of time, which corresponds to the word in the tail of the distribution. And so here, what, what I'm showing is the um, computational time of uh, this simple approach for, where, for different size of the head uh, of the uh, of this uh, this uh, two uh, clusters, and so what we observe is that we with this very very simple approach we can already have like big speed up by exploiting the the uh, uh, imbalance in the distribution of the da the data, and actually we can get like five times speed up over the full softmax just by doing that. So a uh, uh, small limitation of the previous model is that here it, has, it, it kind of ignores the fact that for when you compute th that you're using a batch when you're uh, uh, training your model. And so basically you don't have to compute the, the probability over the tail for all the word in the batch, but only on a, on a subset of those words. And so actually, uh, this, uh, this cost is not linear with, the, uh, with respect uh, to the size of, the, of, the, of this smaller uh, batch, because you, have, you observe exactly the same, uh, um, the, 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 exact, uh, the, the constant time effect of GPUs for very small uh, batches. And so basically what we can do is, instead of multiplying the size of the batch by the computational uh, cost of computing the tail, you can, we can include uh, this uh, cost into the, the, uh, the nonlinear uh, um, uh, function. And so, of course, we can like, generalize this uh, to multiple uh, clusters in the, in the tail. And so we can now try to find the optimal way to split um, the, the set of words um, into those different uh, clusters to get the smallest uh, computational time as possible. And so this is, a, you can basically uh, do this uh, uh, by uh, uh, dynamic programming. And so then we can like try to see what's the best computational time for various number of clusters. And I think what's pretty interesting with uh, this is that actually you, when having like more than basically 10 clusters, you start to have like something that is less efficient um, um, than, uh, than, um, than keeping a small number of clusters. And so why is that? Is that it's because of this, compu this cons constant uh, computational time for small, uh, for small cluster. And so the, the, the point here is that when doing uh, computation of G on GPUs, 
using uh, splitting the the um, vocabulary in square in in cluster of size square root of the size of the vocabulary is not uh, a, a good uh, a good idea. Another good thing is that when using a smaller number of clusters. Um, compared to square root of number of clusters, you're uh, closest to the true uh, uh, softmax, and so it leads to a better uh, approximation. So now I'll present some uh, experiments on uh, Europal, um, on the Finnish Europal. So uh, here, all the models are correspond to a RNN with uh, 512 LSTM units, and the only difference uh, in this uh, model is the, the way to uh, uh, compute or approximate the softmax, and what we see here is the perplexity as a computational time. And so we observe that using the, the hierarchical softmax that uh, I just presented, we can get to uh, roughly the same uh, perplexity as the full softmax uh, much faster, and it also leads to better uh, uh, perplexities than the, doing the hierarchical softmax uh, where you split um, the vocabulary in a, a larger number of, uh, of uh, clusters. I, we also did some experiments on the uh, billion word uh, benchmark, which have a vocabulary of almost 800,000 words, and um, uh, we got uh, for model of equ equivalent uh, size, we got uh, results that are uh, state-of-the-art uh, uh, compared to the um, um, exploring the limit of language modeling uh, paper. Um, so to conclude, uh, we presented a very simple uh, variant of the hierarchical softmax, which is really uh, tailored for, uh, for GPU. And so we, this uh, uh, softmax assume a different uh, computational uh, um, model, which uh, uh, is really tailored for, uh, for GPUs, and exploits the distribution, uh, uh, the, the imbalance in the, in the data to speed up uh, the computation. So thank you, Edouard. Are there any questions? question. Do you need to arrange your mini batches so that you have mini batches with only frequent words and then you have a mini batch with infrequent words? So we don't do that because uh, we um, are using RNNs and so we, it's not very practical okay. to build mini batches like you uh, suggest. And so that's why it's actually uh, we needed to like put the um, Exactly, the, 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 to, to make this small change in the uh, computational uh, model that we assumed. Another question? Okay, let's thank Edouard.